my dear friends god is our creator he is the one source of life and he wants each one of us why the whole creation everything that comes from god should possess his life that's why when he saw the earth without order when he saw the earth in darkness the bible says he gave life to the lifeless world he spoke the words of life he said let there be light he spoke let there be heavens let there be stars let there be water let there be fish let there be mountains let there be flowers let there be fruits yes everything in the world with his word he created and at the end he took his own breath his own life and breathed into man and man came into being that's what we read in genesis chapter 1 verse 27 Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 yes god created us in his image and goodness god created us with his very breath that's why in the book of second corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 we read we in this clay pot carry the mighty breath of god mighty life of god so who is man man is one who carries the life of god one day an old man he was planting the mango plants so the children who are playing they used to come when the mango trees were flowering bearing fruit this gra- grandpa used to chase them away ha huh? now no mango season so there is nobody to chase but he is planting small mang- mango plants then the children wanted to fool him and they said what grandpa all your trees are gone you are planting the trees now do you think that you are going to live to eat the fruits from the trees and that grandpa said not like this my children when i was like like you my grandfather planted and he died and i enjoyed them he gave life to me and today i give life i want to give life i plant i know so many people are going to receive life through me that's what god said to abraham in genesis chapter 12 verse 2 god blessed abraham and said give life to this world that's what we read in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 onwards he blessed them and told them be multiplied and fill this earth said god is the source of life he gives life to us that we may be aware that we carry his life in this world and carrying his life we may give life to so many people in the world the world is in need of life that's why in the book of isaiah chapter 60 it is written the whole world is lying in darkness but upon you my light is shining that you may be my light to this broken world you may give life to this world praise the lord praise the lord that's what we find in the first reading of today the many of the times we don't understand life but the people who are aware of the life that is living in themselves only they can take challenges in life abraham when he listened to the lord who said go take your son and offer yourself offer your son 
I have given you life. Give life to God. Give life to the world. What man can give life to God? Yes. When we become source of life, God receives life. God rejoices in life. Can you give your son? He said, yes. You gave me life. And my mission is to give life. I will give the best. So he took his son. But he knew. He is the giver of life. He is not the destroyer of life. So many of the times we may not understand in our life what is happening. But we know we have a God who is source of life. Giver of life is not a destroyer of life. That's why in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 it is written, God so loved the world that he sent his only son Jesus for us that we may have life. Yes, he has come to give us life, not to destroy us. He is the source of life. Abraham knew this truth. Though God asked him to give his son, he never asked, he never thought, I am going to kill the son and my son is going to die. He only focused on God who is a giver of life. So when I obey the giver of life, only life will come. If you focus on death, then you will be worried about death. You may be wondering how Abraham could offer his only son. Did he get frightened? Did he doubt? Did he even cry to God? You gave me the son after many years. Now you are asking. No. Your focus. Where is your focus? My God is the giver of life. And he wants me to join with him to give life. Maybe he made a thought by offering my son, maybe hundred sons may be born at the same time. Who knows? When you put one mango seed, you get hundred seed. He only knew my God is a giver of life. He is not the destroyer. If you walk with God, you will understand that. Once you have a greater dream that you are sent to give life from the God who is life, we are nothing, we are mud, we are sinful people. But God is holy. God uses us. If I say my weakness, my sinfulness, you may stone, throw stone at me. But God is great. God is holy. God is powerful. God is loving. He is the giver of life. And He gives life that I may give life to others. Yes, you and I are weak people in the world. Romans 3.23 says, Everyone have fallen away from God and they lost life, lost glory. But God, giver of life, never gives up man. He gives life to us that we may become source of life to the world. God is the giver of life. He wants life to be given through us. And when we offer ourselves into His hands, there will be many problems, many doubts, many things which will not be clear. When Abraham was taking his son, son was asking, Daddy, knife is there? Fire is there? Wood is there? To burn the offering, where is the offering? What did Abraham say? God will provide. He is the giver of life, not we. We are chokras. We only listen and we obey. Many things will not be available to us. When you follow the Lord, suddenly you may feel somebody is trying to hurt you. Somebody is trying to lead you to sin. Somebody may lead you even to pain you. Don't get obstacle. The call God has given to you is big. The call, the chosen, God has chosen you, not human beings. If somebody has done something to you, 
leave those palaves god has chosen you god has called you god has a dream focus your eyes on god the giver of life than the hurts and the human beings that are on this earth